This is Dr. Tony Huge of EnhancedAthlete.com, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV. Love Talk Radio. Elias. Welcome. It's Monday. I'm Joe, and this is Muscle Sport Radio. How the fuck are you guys? I see we have some of our friends here. Ilias, Crazy Hawk, Johnny Fit Over 50, Eclipse Boy. You know something? I didn't even fucking know there was going to be an eclipse. My wife goes, don't look it up at the eclipse today. I go, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't fucking do anything but this crazy, stupid fucking program, magazine, and all of this shit. I barely know what's going on in politics anymore, and I'm a political junkie. Hey, Joe, it's a fucking thunderstorm in Norway today. Some don't know how long I can watch, brother. Okay, I hope you you, you don't lose power. You sent me a message, Julius. I will have to look at it after the program. I've been trying to do a lot of shit before uh, I went on the air. I put up, hey, Caleb, what's up, bro? I put up, it's not another Q&A, but I don't mind taking questions. To me, if I don't interact with you guys and talk about what you guys want to talk about, unless there's like something really important that I have to talk about, I, I always take questions. But I was, I was, uh, I put up the new episode of Muscle Sport TV with my buddy Steve Weatherford. I feel like Christian Duque, my good friend, but this is real. Me and Steve Weatherford are actually good friends. He's a retired NFL punter. Giants and Jets won the Super Bowl with the Giants, and I am actually really friends with him. We actually text each other, like, Merry Christmas and stuff like that. It's not just like one of these guys who I call my friend, so I seem important. <laughs> I got to break balls. Um, I felt it in my soul, the eclipse. Did it pass New York yet? I mean, I don't know. This is how fucking, I'm so out of the loop with everything going on. But somebody asked me about piano. I don't know anything more than since I did that video last uh, week or a week and a half ago. I don't know any, I haven't heard anything, so I have nothing to say about it really. What else am I going to say, you know? I mean, uh, same thing I said there, I hope the guy gets better. I mean, the longer this thing goes, it, it's scarier, I guess. But I don't want to fucking be one of these speculator guys. Matt... Howard ripped his shoulder out. Oh, Matt, fuck, that blows, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. I know you said that you were hurt. Jason said, yes, I did not, I did, I, yes, I did see Jason's video. I spoke to Jason before, okay? I asked Jason if he would like to come on this program because I wanted him to have another platform to explain himself. I did see the Johnny Bravo, and thank you, Elias, you did send me um, the, the, the stuff, because I didn't know anything about that. No, Stella, Jason doesn't suck. You guys don't realize something. Jason, he's autistic, okay? And that doesn't excuse what he said. But you also have to realize that the fucking guy, sometimes will things will things he will do and say things that probably... You know, a lot of us won't. And like I said, I am not excusing the fucking guy. I'm see I'm saying he has a somewhat of a fucking excuse. He got that fake report later and everyone else they said that Rich died. Like that was that DDS or whatever the fuck that was, I guess. Jimmy the Bull flat earth <laughs> after getting caught. It doesn't mean what he said is okay. Yes, it doesn't mean what he's saying is okay, but you know what? Did he have malice in his heart when he said it? I don't think the guy has a lot of fucking malice in his whole fucking body. 
let alone to say what he said. The whole thing with the slap box incident, I, of co- I'm assuming, he, uh, even though they did kind of shake hands and make up and they did that other video together when they were in the gym together, Jason and Rich, I guess he harbors some resentment towards the guy. I don't know. This was, I, I, I didn't want to put Jason on the spot, but I said, I would love for you to come on and talk about this just to give you another platform. He knows I'm in his corner. I'm not going to throw any cheap shots. Um, basically, this is what Jason... I. Uh, he called me yesterday. I didn't get a chance to talk to him yesterday. I was fucking busy editing the video. But I touched base with him today, and he said that he can't talk on social media. He wants to let the storm pass. He's doing things with Johnny Bravo. They're trying to get a Netflix thing together. Um, Johnny also did speak to this about, you know, speak to that, you know, about that with me. So I know it's not just something Jason's saying. He says, I got to keep a low profile. Um... I thought I heard I thought I heard that I was wrong he said so yes Caleb pretty much what you said he heard that same thing I was standing right there next to Rich we had no idea he was well um but are you guys gonna be all mad at Jason Genova a kid with fucking autism because he said something that first of all he probably thought was true and second of all he Probably fucking just was talking shit. Crystal. Crystal's new video is up, guys. Not sessions. Jason does fuck things up. Lucky all he got was slapped. Oh, come on, Mike. Mike, you're a better guy than that. He should just go away. No, I like Jason. Go to fucking Storm Talk late, later. Joe. Okay, be good, Steiner. Your magazine was shipped this morning, bro. Where is Jason's mother? She lives in... Jason lives by himself, um, but his mom lives nearby in Florida. If he said that about your wife, then what? But he didn't. What did he say? That my wife deserved... My wife didn't slap box Jason and hit him. He didn't have harbor any resentment towards him. And if he said something that about somebody in my family, I would probably have to take it with a grain of salt knowing what his fucking situation is. He should be off social media. I don't agree with that, Mike. I love you, bro, but I got to disagree with you. Caramelo Criba, Brazil. Jason is the type of guy that he will say things that will make people piss, but you have, I don't hold him, do you hold him accountable, Joe? I do to a certain extent, Dave. I hold him to a certain extent accountable, but at the end of the day, I have to say, you have to look at the source, all right? Jason, is he's hes a kid with learning disabilities. He was not upset with the slap box. He was upset because he did that. Yes, he said that. I did see that. But you have to realize Jason says things sometimes that don't come out right. And you got to kind of look at the history and see what's going on with that. You used to be a part of the piss troop, isn't it? Why were you stopping to be a piss trooper till he got slapped? What did that have to do with anything? You, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to talk about the slap box thing. This really doesn't have anything to do with that. I'm just kind of saying I think Jason probably that that may have been the reasons why he was not shedding tears if he really thought that Rich fucking died. That's all I'm saying. You know, I mean... Guys are very rude to him, real sad. Jason knows right from wrong, though. He does a lot to stir shit. Yes, you're right, uh, Crystal. You're right. How long? How much longer does Jason does something fucked up again? I think it's okay when sixty people. I think people that actually take an order sixty six from Jason are fucking stupider than he is for doing it. Think about that. Somebody goes, order 66, so-and-so, and and you're going to start fucking typing on that guy's fucking Instagram. You're a prick. You're a cunt or whatever. Think about that. Come on, bro. (laughs) If you actually turn around and go through something that somebody says and act on that because some guy said order 66, then you got to fucking get your head checked, bro. I mean, come on. Hey, Kira, what's up? Kira, ha- she's in the new episode. It's up now. Sending dicks pics to young chicks. He gets free shit, boo. The dick pic thing, I don't know the full story on that. Jason's an entertainer. Look, you're talking about your strategy. <laughs> I guess you're right. How did you like? I was in the middle of it when this show started. I had to go back to it. 
you, bro, your friend Kevin's a pisser. He's got fucking so much energy. He makes me look like a fucking wet noodle, bro. I, he's a pisser, that guy. I like, I like the way you guys work off each other too. Everyone says freedom to say what they want, but that doesn't mean you're free. Yes, and he did handle the consequences. He wasn't happy about it. I don't know the crying thing in the Johnny uh, Bravo video. I don't know. I, I, I kind of was like, all right, whatever. But um, I, I, I think Jason is a good kid that sometimes does stupid things and I don't hold him 100% accountable for everything he does but I don't give him a complete pass it's more than you're a cunt it's death threats to children's and wives now when was the death threat to children's and wives I mean maybe I'm not a familiar Jason is 32 Stella JHC I was talking to Johnny he was there that was real all right hey listen I didn't speak to Johnny about it, but I just, it, it looked a little, I don't know, it looked a little contrived on Jason's part. But like I said, I, I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's just, that's not a kid. No, but you, he's autistic, bro. He's got learning disabilities. It's, it's not 32 as if you or I are 32. Yeah, and I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm just giving you the fucking my personal opinion. I talk to the guy probably three times a week. We FaceTime, we email, we phone call. He does stuff with the magazine now. So I deal with him on a regular, regular basis. He likes to call and talk and stuff like that. Mark Lobliner with the threats, but I believe that was his followers. Well, if it was his fucking followers, then that's not his fault unless he told them to do it. And I know Mark Lobliner too. I'm friendly with him. I think that's fucking wrong to do that. You get somebody's wife and kids involved. I'll give you an example. The whole thing with Greg and I. One of Greg's fans or followers wrote a thing on my YouTube thing. Greg, you should have fucked Joe's wife. Now, I didn't blame Greg for that. And when me and Greg were talking last week, I told him that. And he was even like, oh, my God. that's you know, like, And I was laughing, saying, dude, I didn't take it seriously. You know, so I said, I'm here, sure, I will send you a dick pic. I don't want to see your cock, dude. <laughs> You're in the new episode, too. Your video is there. Locker room talk. Yes, it's stupid locker room talk. So if somebody said that about my wife, I didn't go, oh, I'm going to shoot that guy. I'm going to kill. I know the guy would never have the balls to say that to me and to my face, even if he's bigger than me, because you don't say that to fucking people. Mark has a wife, kids, and a gorgeous home. of they you know what? I, I Mark puts his wife and kids on the, and his uh, and stuff on the on the the thing. I, his kids are adorable. I'm a parent too. My kids are older than his. That is, there was no place for stupid uh, arguments online to bring one's family into it. Joe, any word how Rich is doing? I do not know anything from that last video I made almost two weeks ago. I wish I did. I wish I had some kind of news. I will send you a chicken cock. Well, that's okay. I like chicken. It's, yes, Mark is a boom. Mark, uh, he was on our uh, uh, radio show. He wrote an article for us. He was on MSTV. Refer to how to deal with the troll. Yes, look at Dave's video, how to deal with the internet trolls. Pink Princess Barbie has joined. I don't give Jason a pass. Don't don't get me wrong, but I I, I don't take it 100% serious as if if Comerica wrote that or Ilias wrote or said that or uh, Greg said that or fucking Crystal said that. <laughs> I must be blocked by someone. I can't see any of the comments you're referring to. With uh, Lifting Lemons, Stellar JHC, you don't see my dick is foul. He just wrote, you can't be blocked by him. Why would he block you? He'd be a homo if he did. His condition is still stable, which hopefully that is a good thing and means his body is still... All right, hey, Caleb, a lot closer to the fucking situation than I would be. And if that's what Caleb's saying, that's uh, at least it's the word. The news is not getting worse. Joe, random question here, but would you partially blame... <laughs> yeah, would he hit fucking... Uh, what did he have? His spleen was bleeding on fucking, um, uh, what's his name? Drew Bledsoe. And they put the six round draft choice Brady in. I was watching that game going, the fucking Pats are done. The Pats are done. Who's this dopey Brady looking guy? I can't blame him, but you know, listen, it just it was a perfect fucking scenario. He came in and just did great. Jason should be banned off of social media. Mike, you have a heart on for him. <laughs> Is Thea back yet, Mike? Maybe that's why you're so, you're, you're so upset. Maybe she's still away. 
<laughs> Log me out and back in. I can't see them. What's up, Big C? Big Rock. Crystal, I, you are definitely not blocked, I don't think. I trolled Low Blinder and got a shout out. How did you troll him? Like in a bad way? Like fucking Tiger Fitness, this and that, muscle machine, or whatever. Mark's entertaining. I do like Mark Low Blinder. I enjoy his videos. He was fun on the show. He did a cool article for us, uh, for us about a year and a half ago. The year's still gone. Well, that's why you're all upset. I can see. Now Now it explains it. See, now I'm going to give you a break, just like I gave Jason a break. <laughs> Crystal is back. I hope you can see the dick pic words. <laughs> is the solar eclipse just God's way of slipping a cock ring on the sun? Cock rings are good. Joe, this man, Johnny Fitness, sold Rich Piana Bunk, Oxycontin, News of Yeah. Oh, no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Joe, was there a show about the Craig Titus and ex-wife killed the girl? What do you think about what happened? Was there a show, my show, or in general? There's a show in generals. The liberals will tell you the eclipse is Trump's fault. Yes, the liberals can suck the fucking cum out of the back of my balls and eat my ass. Hawks tips is sensitive. Are we all the... Uh, Oh, the tightest thing. I mean, I never did a show on it. I only know the news that's out there. Yeah, with the, with that. I know uh, his girlfriend was coming up for parole and then she got turned down. I want to see my tip. All right, Crystal, did you just see Stellar's want to see my tip comment? Because if you didn't, then I don't know what's going on. Trust me, in two days, news will be out. No good. I don't know, bro. I don't. I don't want to even speculate on that. I, I, it's so fucking. There's been so much stuff going on with this thing, and the thing I liked that Camerica did with his buddy Kevin on uh, the Rough House thing. You did. Okay, good. He loves Crystal. Yes, of course he does. Who doesn't? Um, they were. He did some medical research about things like that, Kevin and, and Dave, so I like that. What's PJ Brown going to do about Jason? I don't know. I mean, I did see Duque's uh, thing, and he said that PJ said he will address it or something. I don't know. PJ goes way back with Jason. I mean, when, like, Jason before – he was probably one of the guys that first put Jason on the uh, – the fucking internet stuff and putting them out there and getting the masses to see Jason. Yeah, Jason was doing his own videos, but once PJ did it, it kind of, not justified what Jason was doing, but he put him out there to a completely different audience, like Get Big started to know who he was and stuff. That's where I first heard of Jason, watching like PJ's stuff. So, Cosgrove. Oh, no. Cosgrove. The Cosgrove Show. Have you as an adult tasted breast milk? No. Not that I remember. Latest video if there are any hater comments. No, I did not see if there were any hater comments. But if they are, they're fucking assholes. God forbid anything happens to Richard Muscle Sport Mag. Pick up the load for five and some shots for big greens. <laughs> I don't know. Here comes the correct question. I, I feel your your spider sense is tingling correctly, Ilyas. <laughs> but I feel that we're making too big of a deal out of this Jason thing, and that's there's nothing to do. Jason saying that did that have did that make Rich's situation any better or worse? Of course it didn't. So guys, stop with the fucking uh, Jason. He's fucking you know. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if any of these internet guys say something. What matters is the guy's in a fucking hospital and it's a very difficult situation. Somebody saying something fucking stupid about it just makes them look stupid. That's all. Is Greg really back at MD? Yes. Congratulations to Greg. I agree. I agree. He's getting paid to do stuff with them. And... Um, I don't know when the first episode was supposed to be out. I thought it was going to be today. I didn't see anything earlier today, but I've been busy since then, so I didn't really see anything posted on Instagram or Facebook. But, um, yes, he's doing stuff with MD again, um, and good for him. I need a job. I need a blowjob. Sarah Piana had a rant about Greg. I did see something, yes, I agree, Elias, we need to get paid. Bro, do you do, do you raw nut if she's on the pill, not trolling, just asking man to man? I've been raw nut, and my wife's got her tubes tied since my fucking son was born, so yeah, I, I raw nut. 
Don't worry, I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, Jesus, I was about to send out a fucking Scottish search party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah took it back. Apparently, Greg wasn't talking about Sarah. He was talking about another girl. It wasn't. It was. I guess it was the one that did the phone call, uh, recording the whole profit muscle thing. And Sarah thought it meant that Greg meant her, and she got pissed or whatever. But I get, that just seems like miscommunication greg didn't mean her she thought he meant her and then sarah's a gold digger piano trying to get her to say sorry eh, was i don't listen i don't know i don't worry about people's marital situations or exes or like, girlfriends and that tidy's attention seeking wishing him well they fucked him over before i don't know brandon curry brandon curry oh i didn't see the second picture Brandon Curry, uh, I guess the Camel Crew, fucking he got fucking huge from that. So I like Brandon Curry. Always, always was a fan of his. It almost wasn't a real episode. Thank God. Yes, Crystal, you're right. We don't want to see Crystal's ass. We want to hear Cosgrove's comments. But guys, look at Crystal's new video. She shows you her ass in it. Yes, I'm not not lying. Hundred percent. Amy says it wasn't her that did the recording. Oh, I don't know. Jets are going to get fucking slaughtered by the Bills, even though the Bills are horrible, too. What was good with that hermaphrodite prostitute that was on YouTube channel the other day? I have no idea what you're talking about, Sammy. Hermaphrodite. What did you tell the hermaphrodite? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I want to see Cosgrove's ass. Yes, I want to see my dick point of view in Cosgrove's little hiney fucking hitting that child fucking like fucking bald ass msms yes camerica you saw that right a good use of the M crystal that was one of the best that was the greatest msm logo that ever was ever used anywhere in the history of msm and even moving forward i will say it will not be topped unless you show it on your cunt <laughs> what's the video title um, female bodybuilder sessions. Just go to Muscle Sport TV. It's the newest one. No, the next to the newest one. This morning I, I posted the Muscle Sport TV. I need hits on that Muscle Sport TV. Please go and watch my videos. I need to jerk. Be right back. Go ahead, Lifting Lemons. Pray for me, man. She's taking a pregnancy. So you don't want children, I guess, because you're asking about raw nutting. It sounds like you don't want it. Next video, MSM my nut sack. Take that, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Mike, you got blue balls, you got blue nutsack this fucking week. MSM, Joe's new transformation. What, being a faggot? <laughs> Crystal can top it. I'm certain she can. I'm certain, certain, certain. But yes, please go watch the new video with my good friend Steve Weatherford on it with me. And I do an Olympia chat. The um, viewers of the episode, we have four of them. Send me your clips because I have another episode to edit before the end of the month. Camerica will never top Crystal. Camerica, could she, he should draw like a cock hole on his head and fucking like, like have somebody squirt something out of it so it looks like he's coming. <laughs> My wife and daughter would kill me. <laughs> you do not want biological kids. What do you want to just adopt them or something? <laughs> Don't have children until you're married. Y y y y it, it's always a tough situation when there's a fucking baby mama stuff. It, it, I'm old school. I don't know. My clip will be out today, Joe. Yes, yeah, send it to me. It will be on the following episode, the last one of the month, which will usually come out on the 30th or so. Cat Vong, 26. I like Cat Vong's photos. Hi, Cat. The head of my dick been full as fuck all month. <laughs> Ah, uh, welcome to the fucking my world, bro. Begging for hand jobs and lucky if you fuck once a week. Fucking crazy. I don't feel bad for you, crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna get married, at least not on paper. Why well, involve government in your relationship? I'm old school. That's just with the church and all of that. And I'm not a fucking holy roller at all. I can't help it. My wife is only 25 years old. Oh fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Come out and put a beard on your balls. Everyone knows it's you. <laughs> Shelly Fit Mama, Cat Vong, hey y'all, this has become a ladies club, I love it, I don't give a fuck about the other 21 bitches in here, 
This is the Joe and Cosgrove Show. <laughs> Fuck the Cricket Joe Show. <laughs> the Joe, me and my man Joe Show. Now you're sucking up to me, Cosgrove? Now, Cosgrove, I'm going to tell him. I'm only going to wait for you to fucking uh, tell me. He had a nice teardrop on his fucking quad. He showed me a picture of his legs. When I will get married in the sense of having a big party in Southern Brown Sunny. Hey, everybody's got their own thing, man. I, I, I like, uh, you know, uh, old school Shelly Fit Mama. Fuck yeah. What's up, Mama? MSM Ladies Collection. Definitely. Jupiter. I'm going to talk to Sal tomorrow. I want to talk to him about the thongs. And I will ask about the pink shirts, Mikey. That's just the truth. Yes, I will talk about the pink shirts because I know you guys want them. And the thongs. If we're going to do a thong contest, I'm going to tell him, dude. I'll fucking go to the store and buy thongs and just bring them here if you could take too long to order them from your your guy. Just put that MSM logo on it. I have to find out because I'm looking to get different shirts for Dave and myself for the Olympia. Do I have any tattoos? Yes, I have three. MSN Pink Strong Comerica. See, if I get the pink shirts, then, then we can all wear them out in Vegas too. Cosgrove, you should call me bitch to my face. Now, Cosgrove, he's just, he's just kidding around. He's just joshing and yanking your chains. Cosgrove DMs me a lot. We, 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 uh, we've become quite friendly on DM. I, I, I think he's harmless, a la Jason. <laughs> he's a dick. Thea and Pink Princess Barbie want MSM thongs, and if I get them, they will have them. I have to. I have to talk to the guy who does my uh, my apparel. I'm wearing my Iron Mag Lab shirt today because Iron Mag Labs is the shit, motherfuckers. Right here, we're gonna do the commercials in a little bit. It's only three twenty-six. Fuck that troll, Joni. Don't even lie. You don't think it was a bit of a sting the way everything is planned out. I'm not trying to get to you to bash Greg. The way you and Greg almost like broke free from MD and had got to continue. I don't know the rest of your thing. Hey, you. I need an MSM thong and a pink shirt. If I get them, you guys will know all about them. What politician would you like to see on trend? Trump. <laughs> your own thing on the go. I don't. Well, I think I'm mad that he's back with MD. I could care less, bro. How many people you DM talking shit to troll? Greg's still gonna do stuff with me. He says he says we're gonna we're gonna talk about trying to do some stuff together. He is not exclusive to anybody. They're not fucking you know. You got to pay a lot to be exclusive, and nobody in this industry is gonna pay that much. It, it makes no sense. Like fucking, uh, if Crystal got an offer from. Self Magazine to do uh, an article or a video where I say, no, she's working only for us. Of course, I'd be like, yes, send me the link. I'll plug the shit out of it for you. Kidding me? Exclusivity is fucking lame, man. Let them out there. Let them fucking promote themselves and do whatever everything they want. Greg wants to work with everyone. He's smart. I did read his thing. He sent me a link to his uh, MD uh, thread. Um, but I don't think... Um, Duque got the same fucking thread because he's not, he's bashing me. <laughs> you give crossover too much respect for him taking bad guys. You know, Trump on trend with me, red button for North Korea. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. I'm not saying that you are, but Joe, you're solo, my friend. I don't understand. I guess I kind of do. I kind of read between the fucking typos and. Shelly Fit Mama will be good for an MSM video. Yes, Shelly Fit Mama. Do you want to email me or DM me, Shelly, and then send me your email and a DM, and I will e email you, and we will speak. Time to go train. Bye, guys. Shelly, DM me your email address when you get a chance. You can be loyal without being exclusive. I think people confuse it too. Crystal, you are wise, very wise. You need Shelly on the MSM video. I like Shelly. I've seen her photos and stuff. So, yes, if she would like to email me, we can actually talk about stuff. I have a lot of things in the burner, as they say, for uh, next month's MSTV, uh, adding some people, all of that stuff. Muslim party. I heard it was a blast. Yes, it was a blast. And here is Shuey. Steve Shoesmith and Paul Cullen are in our new issue. Steve from UK and uh, Paul from Ireland. They are in the new magazine. 
I'm not saying that you don't want to see him have a job and earning. Well, then what are you saying, my friend? Excited to see you in a few weeks, Miller. Miller, are you going to be at the Olympia, bro? Because if you're going to be at the Olympia, you got to hang with our MSM fan party. We're going to have more people hanging out with us than are going to be at the expo, I think. <laughs> Shuey looks great in that fucking picture. It's a backstage from his contest. And Paul Cullen, man, he's like fucking beyond shredded in his picture. What's your thoughts on Steve the Boss at MD? I did not get along with him very well. He fired me. Black Irish pride. The man fired me. Uh, even though I did exactly what he wanted me to do. And I brought a lot of good things to the table. And the magazine that I worked on. And site I worked on has been utter shit since I've left. And that's not just my opinion. That's factual. Where can I see my video I sent you? On uh, MST, a Muscle Sport TV YouTube channel. Do your thoughts stay the same? About what? About Blackman? I have nothing to do with him. There's no, because Greg's working for him again doesn't mean I have to like the guy. The guy can suck my dick. I don't care. Olympia, what Olympia? <laughs> MSM party. 11% Irish myself. <laughs> Miller, I hope you're going to the Olympia, bro. Do you know Steve's famous line? What? Um, the, uh, the striated glutes one? <laughs> oh, which video? MSTV. The Iron Mag Lab presents MSTV Season 1, Episode 26. It should be the newest video on my page. That's the difference between you and Jay, Joe, Greg Joe. Now, that's factual. What's the difference? See, I did. Oh, why cut back? Yes. Why well, cut back? I didn't need a job. Greg needed something. Greg would be insane to turn down something from MD. You know, I, I don't, I have my own company. I'm earning. I don't need to, to, to make money. Um, you know, I'm making money here. So why the fuck should I, you know, it has nothing to, it's, I don't fucking fault anybody for putting fucking bread on the table. You got to do what you got to do, man. You got to fucking pay the bills, man. Where can I find info on the Fitness X online? Um, I guess... I don't catch your drift, David Cosgrove. Do an article on me, please. I can do. I like to do website articles on the viewers and stuff. DM me your email, and we can make that happen. Ilias, you're gonna miss Cosgrove when he leaves us for MD. Yes, he's gonna get taken. Greg's gonna bring him to MD. It's gonna be the Cosgrove, the Ramblin' Freak and Cosgrove show. Um, I think that fit that FitX, did you get my voicemail? No, just DM me, bro. You're killing me with those roaming charges, probably. <laughs> I got a missed call or something from you when I came out of the shower yesterday. The FitX, that's gonna that's at that uh, City Athletic Club gym that Jay Jong owns. He's the guy that runs the uh, the the Super League. That's where that's at. That that FitX is gonna be at the gym where the Super League is kind of uh that's their kind of home base. They have an arena, too. The Super League thing is going to be that Saturday night that the Olympia is out there. Yes, the FitX is going to be... That's where Rich is supposed to have his booth before all of the fucked up stuff happened uh, with his health. But uh, the FitX was going to be almost like a, a, a mini Olympia Expo, but it was a lot of people were booking their booths there. There's a website. I, I, I would just... Go to the City Athletic Club site. I mean this. I watched videos of you and Greg bashing Steve. You two had broke free, adversity had face, and now I see the difference with you and Joe. Okay, so what's the dip with Greg? Well, I guess uh, Greg bashed Steve because Steve fired him. And uh, when Steve called him and they talked it out, just like Greg and I spoke and we worked out our differences, and he and I are going to hopefully work together again. That's our plan. Does that make either one of us bad or stupid because we worked we worked out our differences? He worked it out with uh, Blackman, apparently. So, and Iron Mag Labs is like sponsoring, like they do RX, they do MD, they do MSM, they do fucking uh, uh, Duque's blog thing there. So, it's really like IML is fucking got a, a nice fucking uh, thing across all of these platforms, so... I, I like to keep things nice for Greg with MD, 
so I don't really want to start fucking morals. Well, listen, paying the bills sometimes supersedes everything, Cosgrove. You know, morals are great, but when you need a fucking job, you got to fucking, you know, and Blackman did call him first. He didn't call Blackman. I know exactly what happened. Me and Greg, I said we spoke at length. I don't fault Greg one iota. He'd be a nut if he said no to them. A nut. I don't know what's going to be his platform. I suppose like a weekly video I heard. Um, you know, I didn't really get into that too much with Greg. Basically, he just told me that him and, 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 uh, and Blackman discussed it and I Am Ag Labs is involved. And my opinion on Kit Sanderson. I know Kit from when I worked for MD. I always got along really good with him. I wasn't crazy about the whole thing with the RX and the Ashkenani with Kit... Did you get that on tape or whatever? I mean, you know, I thought that was a little... But, again, I'm going to say it's the RxMD battle, and everybody is residual in that. So if you work for MD, you're going to stick up for MD. If you work for Rx, you're going to stick up for Rx. I know the deal. you got to do what you got to do. But I feel if you broke free, you've done it right, even though I respect Greg. I don't mind saying that. So you're faulting Greg for going to work and getting a paycheck. I, I can't. I can't. And even if he comes back to work for me, my paychecks aren't fucking big. I don't have a big company. I can't pay a lot of fucking money to anyone. So even if he worked for me again, he's going to still need more money. Everybody needs more money. You know, his fucking daughter's, uh, you know, she's, she's my, like a year younger than my daughter. It's an expensive age to have fucking, you know, those they're young adults they're not on their own yet so they need expensive things <laughs> you know you gotta help them pay car insurance and shit i was car shopping with my daughter saturday you know and i'm like oh fuck you know no going back you know what in my case there's no going back but in greg's case it, it made more sense for him to do that Elias cosgrove is going to give a class on morals of trolling he's here talking shit about so many of us talking about more <laughs> Kat Vong got three daughters. I have one daughter and one son. Three daughters. God bless you. <laughs> All the industry is full of fucking rats. You know way too well. This industry is fucking disgusting. I got my wife a car. Hopefully it didn't take too much of your money. $300 at Legoland today. Oh, shit. <laughs> Legoland. That's with the little guy you want, I guess. Can I attend Cray? Crazy. Crazy Hawk. But yes, I hate the bodybuilding industry. Now, yes, the bodybuilding it's a cutthroat, patent place, fucking bunch of fucking hens and fucking jerk offs. Fuck my wife, my life. Oh, so Joe, yes, okay. That's Cosgrove fucking conversation. How you doing? All right, how about you? 2017 Rogue game. We were looking at the Rogues, but she's looking at a a, a, a Ford Escape because it had the. It's a, a, a used situation. She'll be safe driving in a 55 Buick with a loud horn. Oh, 55 Buick. Johnny fit over 50. You, with that A's hat, you look like Raleigh Fingers, bro. That video was great. Guess what I just got, man? Oh, you got it in the mail. Yeah, I said, I, I thought you may, I was hoping you'd get it Saturday. I forget what day I mailed that. You got it. Good. I can't wait to see you in the picture with that shirt on you're gonna look it's gonna hopefully it fits you with those big boobies check out the dodge durango it's too big i don't want my daughter getting a big fucking thing she wants one of those smaller suvs and that escape is in that you know like a jeep liberty we were looking at flex is doing classic physique yes flex wheel a classic physique which i do not like one bit i hate it i think it sucks i think it's a fucking waste of a division and it's just more fucking time to sit in that fucking seat uncomfortable for hours on end hours looking at men in their underwear I hate looking at men in their underwear, unless they're Cosgrove. I just got them going to customize shirt. A customize, uh-oh. Is it going to be nippleless? <laughs> Finally, somebody agrees with me. How, uh, about classic? How long ago were the two of you bashing Steve? Not long at all. Whatever. Obviously, he spoke to Steve after that, and they worked out their differences. Me and Greg were having a pissing match, and then we spoke to each other, and now we're not. Jeep Cherokee. 
Yeah, she wanted the liberty. We looked at a few liberties, but I don't want to make this a door to car show. <laughs> I want me and Steve to rock MSM form. Uh oh, thunder down under. You guys are going to have your fucking packages hanging out. Crotchless t shirt. <laughs> the briefs on Classic Week. I hate the briefs. Ugh. And I hate the ones from overseas even more. They wear like those colored boxer briefs. At least the black ones, they don't look that bad. But, oh, man, those colored ones. Oh, God, it's so gay. Uh, you and Greg didn't have a fortunate employment and get fucked. Whatever. Oh, here's the new issue, guys. Did you see this? Now, you tell me. What other bodybuilding company is going to put out a fucking cover like this? Are you fucking kidding me? This is sick. Oh, let me show uh, Shuey off. Let me show Shuey. Uh, where is it? Hang on. Don't get waiting on mine now. Yes, they will all be out in the next few days. Some went out. I try to get them out to the writers and stuff first. There's Shuey right there. And Paul Cullen. Sweet balls. Can't wait. <laughs> I can't. I love you. Sweet balls from a chick. That's not bad. That's no bad, Joe. I guess not bad. And there's, there's some of our friends. And there's Jupiter. There's Lee, Charles. One hour fit mom, Caleb. Look at that. Swole John. There's Jason. That's crazy. There's Mike. Mikey. There's fucking Jim. And there's Eddie Robinson and his son Seth. Yes, we have a an amazing guy. Did you see the guy Sister Nino story? Look at that fucking. It is dope, bro. I gotta say so myself. And look, there's the centerfold with Tisha. Still butt hurt that you left Thea out. I am too. I'm pissed at myself. I told you. Next issue. I promise, Mikey. Where the fuck is Cosgrove? You never sent me a picture, kid. I can't I can't discriminate against Cosgrove. I have to here's a story about testosterone replacement therapy. I wrote it myself. Stella, you gotta send me the photos, bro. You got me you got the video, but you gotta send me the photos. Here's some girly photos. Ooh. Bill Dobbins is a fucking massive fucking photographer, and I got him doing a lot of great shit with us. Here's Jerry Ward's article about Flex Wheeler. Look at this one. Anabolic Doc. Look at that layout, man. I got these new designers. Amazing. I'll use that picture to wipe my ass. Here's my LeBron James story. Swallow my load for test replacement. <laughs> and... Here's a flashback finale from a uh, spring 2012. So yes, yes, and I have a, I have a picture of myself when I was a teenager in there, my heavy metal teenager days. So yes. Hey, did you see Paul? Did you just get on? I showed you. There you go. That's Paul. The article featured me. Yes, you are a good friend of the show. You do a lot of good things. You sent me some good shit. Cosgrove, you look like a weirdo. Paul, email me your address. Paul, uh, Paul, <laughs> Joe at MuscleSportMag.com. I'll send you a copy, bro. Looking like a Ramon. Yeah, I did, right? With the motorcycle jacket and the jeans. I was on my Brooklyn street corner there in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, bro. I was a thug. I was a little punk. With my long hair and shit. Playboy pays what I hear from male strippers. Well, you young bucks got to go look into that. Young bucks. But yes, we had the EC horror comic cover two issues ago and now this one. Joe, do you know how to make pre-workout or protein powders? No. Why would I? I can just get them for free from my fucking sponsors. <laughs> the Warriors. Yes, that was great. And they still, when I used to hang out at Coney Island Beach and I moved out uh, of Brooklyn in uh, 95, they still had part of the wall of the Warriors spray painted there. You could see. You need any more images of any bodybuilders? I'll let you know, bro. I definitely probably do, but I'm always open. How the fuck did Rich Piana know then? I don't know what you mean, Cosgrove. Eggs, banana, ice cream. What are your favorite sups? I love whey protein powder. I, lo I think it tastes delicious. Um, I'm really into that. Uh, I like a very subtle pre-workout. I don't like that crazy, you know, when you get jitters and stuff and get that. 
All time favorite streak. Eight. Warriors is fucking awesome, man. Fucking awesome. Rembrandt, leave a mark. Tss, the red W on the fucking gravestone. Can you dig it? My friend was an extra in that movie. He was one of the like, camouflage wearing guys. No speaking. You just like for a second you see him. He has 5150 and shit. Why do you not try getting that line of business? I wouldn't get into the supplement selling business if you fucking gave me a supplement factory for free. It is insane. Insurance, come out to play. Hey, everybody that bought Miller Nips after that would always do it. Let's right, walk right through these lame fucks territory. We're the orphans. You see what you get when you mess with the orphans. The orphans. My buddy still goes to these warrior convention things where these guys are uh, there. It's too much money for fucking... Um, uh, to, to, to get the insurance and shit. Yes, we're going to do the commercial now. We're going to do some penis pills. But hang on. Listen to this one first. In a world of advanced bodybuilding supplementation, the numbers don't lie. Fact, Iron Mag Labs is among the fastest growing hardcore supplement companies in the world. Fact, when it comes to no-nonsense, cutting-edge products, nobody delivers results like Iron Mag Labs. Fact, the Iron Mag Labs line of innovative formulation has set a new industry standard. Products that are helping world-class bodybuilders reach levels they never thought possible. Iron Mag Labs is a proud supporter of bodybuilders everywhere. Discover the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Visit IronMagLabs.com. Today. Guys, go to ironmaglabs.com right now. Look at the alpha male stack. This is two-thirds of it. I got the other can over there, right? I, I forgot to grab it when I did this. The Turnbull ACs and the bus in the Bronx, yes. Uh, Ultra male, this is the dick pill. Andro Hard Topical Muscle Gel. I use this every morning before I go to the gym and then before bed. And then also the uh, Super RX Andro, Super RX, the 4 Andro RX. Make sure you go to ironmaglabs.com. I, I highly suggest ultra male, but go for the whole alpha male stack. Alpha male stack. The baseball furies. They drop the ball. Remember the fucking chick with the DJ? Will you watch the McGregor fight Saturday? It's my wedding anniversary, so I probably won't be watching it because I'm going to go out to dinner and stuff with my wife. I like the UFC. I'm a big fan of it, but I'm, you know, to me, I, don't, I don't have a lot of interest in that fight. I'll be honest with you. I don't have a lot of interest in that fight. I think uh, I want McGregor to win, but I think Mayweather's going to win. Thank you, Iliaz. Yes, 22 years and counting. So I will take my wife out, and hopefully there'll be some romance at the end of the evening. Mack Truck. I didn't think Mack Truck, that, I didn't think that video he did was fucking in good taste at all. I'm, you know, thank you, Savage. Meeting, gotta go by. Oh, thank you, Kira. Sweet, she looks gorgeous in her fucking uniform. I love a woman in, un woman in uniform. 29 years, Ilias. You got the big one next year, then. Disgusting. I guess you're talking about Mack Truck's video. I agree. I'm not, I, that's, come on, you know. Who is the most famous celebrity you met? You! I've met a few celebrities. A lot of sports guys. You know? I don't know if that's a celebrity per se. I did I did meet um, uh, uh, Kim Kardashian when she was dating Reggie Bush at a Super Bowl party. I guess that would be it. But not that I'm a fan of hers, but god damn, she's hot in person too. I don't want to hear, oh, she's ugly, she's got a big ass. Holy shit. I would let her shit right down my gullet, man. Right down my gullet. She looked gorgeous. That's when uh, Reggie Bush running back. This was back at Super Bowl, I think it was in Miami or Arizona. Miami, I think. Years ago. Thank you, Paulie. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Mac is real in my book. I don't know much about the guy. I don't, you know, I, I don't really know. You know, I didn't know who he was until that, that punch thing. I never, I never even heard of the guy before then. And I've only really heard about him a handful of times since then, really. Mac Truck is good people. I mean, if you guys personally know somebody and you feel they're good, then that's your opinion. That's fine. I don't know the dude. He's real, but don't agree with everything he says. Okay. I think everybody's a little fake online. I mean, I put a little fucking act on, too. I, li I like to think that this is me, but 
I guess when we're at the Olympia, you tell me, guys, the guys that we're going to be hanging out with together. Uh, you got to put a little persona on to have a little fun, have a little shtick going. We were friends until he posted the video. We got Bush, nerd. I don't get it. Like a vagina Bush or George? <laughs> Guys, don't forget, Wednesday, Dave and myself, NFL Coast to Coast. We will be talking about the NFC South and West. And um, uh, I watched the Jet game on Saturday. And holy shit. Wow. That is a bad football team. Was that the Mac video he made like right after Rich got sick and shit? What really happened when he punched Rich? We got Bush from the movie Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, okay. I'm I'm I didn't even catch that in the revenge thing. Right? Please message me when in Vegas, please. Shuey, yes, we're going to definitely touch base. We're all gonna to touch base before that. I think I'm way more out in person in videos and live feeds. Good. I can't wait to hang then in person. Just don't let your husband beat me up if I stare at your tits. <laughs> He's scary looking, that guy. He's a big dude, man. I, I, I want to look at her tits, but I don't want to get hurt. When was the last time you spoke to Greg and when you get in that training video? I like that. You did have an idea with that training video. I do like that. I have no idea. Uh, I Greg had emailed me and messaged me or something, and then I emailed him back, but I didn't hear back from him. Over the weekend, Mac made another one where he was real. Anyone going to Vegas and wants my cell number, just message me. Thea message you, Crystal. Yes, all of us are going to exchange cellular telephone. I think I have yours already. We're all going to make sure we have cellular telephone numbers exchanged so we can all meet up. Comerica and I are arriving on Thursday afternoon around 2. Stella, do you think you're some sort of gangster? Oh, God. Cosgrove. Oh, God. I can't block this kid. I ref I will not block anybody. Oh, Duke blocked me on Instagram. <laughs> I just laugh when I see that. It's such a homo move. Hubby says, go ahead and look and play with the boob. Wow. He's not going to try to put his pee-pee in my butt, is he? <laughs> if he's sitting there watching this, he's going to kick my ass when he sees me. I will ignore it. FFS, please. For fuck's sake. Okay, I finally got one of those. I usually miss them. I'll look for Thea to message me. Yes, we're all going to exchange our fucking uh, cells so we can hang and fucking go crazy for Olympia. I don't even know if I want to... <laughs> I don't even know if I want to even fucking deal with the show. I just... No, I can't do that. What's your opinion on Jason Blaha? I think I've watched 30 seconds of one of his videos once. I, I just can't get through them. I... I I can't get through one of his videos. I don't understand his whole get up. He doesn't look like he's ever did a fucking cardio fucking session, let alone bodybuilding. Not that I'm fucking Mr. Olympia here. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's just, to me, I don't know. I, Blaha, I don't know. I used to have a boss named Blaha when I worked in the Royal Trade Center, and he was a fag. So every time I hear that name, it just goes, oh, I just fucking get the creeps. <laughs> Cosgrove, you're a pain in the ass. But he's a pain in the ass. He's such a liar on YouTube. Why is this stupid thing still on my fucking screen? We have about seven minutes left, guys. So remember, Wednesday, and then this week again, I'm supposed to have this doctor's appointment this Thursday, so I'm going to have to do AMA Friday. And I know I said that last week, but I changed it back, and I confused poor Crystal. She's like, wait, I thought you said it. And I said, I know. My doctor called me up like on Tuesday or something and changed the appointment. So this week, I'm supposed to go to him on Thursday, and I won't be back in time to hear to do the show. So I'm going to just bump the show till Friday. I will. Don't, <laughs> it's already started. I got the hormones already, bro. They're going to do the snip. Um, I'm going to do uh, the show on Friday, but I will. If anything needs to be changed, I will do it. Lee Carter. Oh, I got to get that out there. Lee fucking has done the aces. He put out, he, he uh, donated 10 shirts and two subscriptions to the MSM, and we're going to do a contest. I want to see, what did you guys think? I was thinking of some stupid ones, and I was thinking of some good ones. 
good ones, it will be like one guy, one girl, when, uh, you know, how many pull-ups you can do and you got to do it on video. Or, like, longest burp or longest fart. So you guys let me know. What, what do you think would be cool? We'll do... Um, you know, we'll do fucking 12 prizes, you know, uh, you know, we'll do the, the top two, get the subscriptions and the, uh, the shirts or no, uh, just the subscriptions. And then we'll do the next ones have the shirts. So let me know what you guys think. You want to do like a pull up kind of thing or a, a, a push up. I don't know, but I figured one male, one female longest plank. That's not a bad idea, but it can go on really long and boring now. Lee Priest back on the show. I don't know. I got to reach out to him and see who's my dark horse in this year's Olympia. Um, Bonac. I don't know. I, I, it's fucking Heath. There isn't going to be any dark horse. Crap. What, Joe? I missed the last part. We want to do the contest. Lee uh, Lee Carter donated. He bought uh, two subs and ten T-shirts, the black ones, and I'm going to do a contest. Yes, on video. So I'm thinking, you guys let me know what you want to do. Maybe we'll do push-ups, pull-ups, or longest fart, longest burp. But, you know, I want to have one guy, one girl winner. So maybe just it'd probably do the straight contest would be easiest. And I'll put them all on MSTV. I don't care if you do one pull-up. You send me a video, you're going to get on. Everyone with last two minutes, mate, would be fine. I will take the prize. But naked. Well, I can't put it on YouTube then. And then I'll, I can only jerk off to yours, Mike, because you're my style. <laughs> but I think that I think pull-ups would be cool. The old original fucking lat movement, you know. So you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll put a post up, and then uh, you guys can post on the post. I am so heavy, I can't hold. So even if you do one, bro, let's say only ten people join, everybody wins a shirt. Then <laughs> sounds fun. I think it'll be cool, and that's all on Lee Carter, man. I gotta give Lee. Complete thumbs up. And here's Lee in the issue. Before we get cut off, there's Lee Connor wearing said black shirt and holding a magazine. So I'll tune in Wednesday. I hope so. If you're a football fan, you will enjoy. I will edit and make it like I did 100. No, you can't cheat. It's got to be scouts on a, how many pull-ups. Depends, man. You can do as many as you can. Catch you later. Kazi, I'll see you later, my fucking good friend from Scotland. Whatever the contest is. Like, yeah, exactly. What do you think of Jason Jones' current contest prep? He did look a little uh, lean on his face. When he was when he said the piano stuff, he was all sweaty from running and shit. He looked a little lean, man. So, yes, Lee Carter is a fucking champ. I got to give him total fucking credit. This had nothing to do with me. It was his idea. We DM'd each other. And I even was like, no, I don't want you to do that. I felt bad. But he's, nope, I want to do it. I want to support the MAG. I love what you guys do. So I'm very grateful, Lee. Who is Genova competing against? I have no idea. It's a fucking contest in Florida. Johnny fucking Goomba. Fucking... Raleigh fucking fingers. I love the Gironda photo and your t-shirt was fucking cool too. You're old school dude. I love that. Lee is very loyal. Absolutely. fucking lutely Absolutely. As are you, Mr. Ali. As are you. Very loyal and fucking very helpful to me in my time of need. We got a couple of minutes left, guys. Same as Calico. <laughs> Wednesday and Friday this week is Martin Ford going to Vegas. I don't know. I hope so. He's fucking big dude. I met him at the uh, at the Arnold. We were talking. I took a picture with him. I look like a baby connected to him. It was a chance to support you and give something to the great fans. Thanks, Lee. You're a fucking good fucking champ. Crystal, thank you. Joe, thank you. Ilyaz, what's the next body part you're training? I do chest tomorrow. Chest on Monday is for suckers because everybody's on the fucking... Thank you, Rosie. Everybody is doing chest, so I do arms on Monday and chest on Tuesday when nobody's on the benches. I can get to all my hammers, all my regular bench things, all the fucking pec deckies. I like pec deck. Love you, Joe C. Best penis pill, not Viagra. Right here. Ultra male, when you do legs, Friday, last day of the week. So if I don't get to work out on Friday, I don't got to do legs. <laughs> Fuck legs. I hate them. I hate legs. Hope you get a good pump, Joe. Thank you. I hope you get a good hump. I want you to get laid tonight. Zinc. Enjoy. I always do. And doing arms tomorrow. Do buys and tries together. But do like Greg said. Do a couple of sets of tries before you do buys and vice versa. 
if you do the other ones first. Whichever you do first, do the other ones. Legs on Wednesday. I used to do legs in the middle of the week, and then I started hating them, so I kept putting them off, putting them off, and putting them off. Yeah, guineas don't do legs. MSM family, pink strong. Yes, pink thongs, pink t-shirts, pink lips. 20 seconds. Guys, thank you so much. Check out the new episode of MSTV, Iron Mag Labs presents on the YouTube channel. Thank you, Savage. See you guys on Wednesday. Cavs every day, Cosgrove. Five days a week, bro. See you guys later.